when you're working in Dynamics Nav 2017, in this case in the web client, card pages that show you one specific record are normally accessed via a list page. So for example, if I go to the customer's list page, here I have all the customer records that I can then choose to go and work with. If I choose one particular record, customer 10,000, I'm now viewing a card page that shows me that particular customer record. When the card page opens, I can see that I have a number of familiar features from our other videos on the other parts of the system. For example, we have a ribbon that I can expand and collapse by double clicking any of the tabs. I can click once to expand the tabs and change between the tabs. Or if I double click, it tidies it away and I have more room on my screen. On the right hand side, I have a fact box pane that gives me summary information about this particular record and here I can quickly access a filtered view of documents that relate to this customer. So for example, their ongoing sales orders, I can through these live tiles, these queues, I can see that we have five ongoing sales orders. If I click, it takes me to a filtered view that shows me those five open sales orders. So I can choose to expand or collapse this fact box pane, depending on whether I want to see the summary information or not, or whether I need more room on my screen. Within the fact box pane, we have different fact boxes. So as well as the queues, I have customer statistics that summarize their overall position. All of these blue numbers are flow fields, which means if I click them, I can see the underlying data. So for example, their balance in local currency, so in pounds sterling, is 167,000. If I click this, I can see the underlying ledger entries that make up that balance figure. The same applies to all the other blue figures here. They're all flow fields that if I click, I can see the underlying information that makes up that balance. I can see the dimensions that apply to this record and where applicable links and any notes. And where available, there may be a picture that relates to, in this case, the customer contact, or if I was working with an item, it might show me an image of the item. And I can collapse this fat box pane to create more room on the screen to see the main card. In the main card, it's composed of several fast tabs. So here we have the general fast tab and the address and contact fast tab, which are expanded. By expanded, I mean they're open and they're showing you the fields they contain. Underneath them, we have invoicing, payments and shipping, which are currently collapsed fast tabs. When a fast tab is collapsed, it only shows one or two pieces of information in its header. So here, if I click in the header for invoicing, I can see all of the fields that are available to us on that fast tab. If I collapse it again, just two promoted fields are available at all times. The idea is that our most important information can be kept visible whilst creating more room on the screen. So if I click any of these headers, I can collapse or expand the fast tabs to then have more information on screen to work with. In terms of the fields shown within a fast tab, so here number, name, balance LCY, balance due LCY, these are all fields that are organized within the general fast tab. If I just collapse that fast tab, we can start to see the three levels of priority that these fields have. The most important fields are called promoted fields, and these are ones that we've said we want to display at all times, even when the fast tab is actually collapsed. So here, the customer number and customer name are promoted fields and they will always display. So here they're displaying in the header now that the fast tab is collapsed. If I expand the fast tab, we'll see that those promoted fields, number and name display, but also the standard fields of balance, balance due, credit limit and so forth, these all display when the fast tab is expanded. But we have a third option. There are some additional fields. If I have the option here, say show more, if I click this, some additional fields such as service zone code, document sending profile and others then appear to show me all the available information. If I choose show less, those will be taken away again to give me more room on screen. So for each of the fast tabs, here on the address and contact fast tab, I have the promoted fields which are postcode and also the contact name. If I click to expand the fast tab, I can see those two promoted fields and the standard fields. And if I click show more, 
it adds in the additional fields such as fax number. If you've previously clicked to say show more, you'll see the option to show less, which just lets you remove those additional fields. Now Nav will remember my choices. So for example, if I have everything displayed and the invoicing fast tab expanded, but all the other fast tabs collapsed, and then I close this page either by hitting the X, pressing escape, or clicking in the gray bar here, when I return to that card, Nav will remember my choices. So it's exactly as I left that card. And when I view other cards to see other records but of the same type, Nav will apply my choices in terms of which fast tabs are expanded and collapsed. By default though, when I first load a card page, it will open with the first two fast tabs expanded and the rest collapsed. Now when I'm working with a card page, I may come across fields that I'm not too sure of exactly what they're used for within the system. So for example, if I click the field contact name, we have extended tooltips now. This gives me a description of the field and how it's used within the system. If I want to find out more and I click learn more, it will take me to the online help where if there's a dedicated page available that covers that, that field name, I will have more information or it will take me to a general page where I can search around the topic. So some of the fields that I use less frequently, perhaps when I'm creating a new card, I might want to click just to get the extended tool tip to clarify for me how I should be using that field. If I wish to view an item card page, I could start from the item list page and utilize one of the new views. So I could view the, the bricks view, for example, that shows me small tiles. And here I can see at a glance which ones have an image applied to that record. So for example, the London Civil Chair in blue, if I click this on the list page, it will take me through to the item card page. And here, just like on the customer cards, I have a ribbon that I can expand and collapse. I have a fact box pane on the right hand side with an image of the product and then summary information, the attributes, for example, and then any links or notes. And I can collapse where that fact box pane to have more room to work with on the screen with the main card. And I have fast tabs that I can expand and collapse to allow me to see more or less information about specific areas of this record. So with all the fast tabs collapsed, I can see my promoted fields. If I expand the fast tab, so for example, onto the item summary information and the price and posting, I can now see the standard fields. If I click show more, I can see the additional fields as well. Just like on the customer card page, if I'm not sure the field is used for, I can click on it to see the extended tooltip. If I want to change which fields display when the fast tab is actually collapsed, so which are promoted fields, or I want to change which fields display as additional fields, I can do this, but I need to do it as a personalization within the Windows client. And I will then see those changes within the web client when I next use it. And to close my card page, I can click the X, I can press escape on the keyboard, or I can click in the gray area.